things in anticipation. Usually you eat the dessert afterwards, but when you start salivating over these dirty balls, you get ready. Whatever you can in your mouth. I'm surprised the cat hasn't returned for a cameo yet. He's butt hurt because I had to remove him twice from the premises. So people don't think I'm running a dirty vermin operation here. But having the cat around the stove is actually good. You just gotta clean his hairballs because the rodents don't want to come around when they smell the cat's scent. So the germaphobes just need to let the cat run around the stove a little bit. Get off your Martha Stewart ass and clean the goddamn thing. Isn't Rosie O'Donnell coming back on? Maybe she'll have me on the show to do cooking. What do you think? No? I think I'll be on The View. The Ellen DeGeneres show. Oprah would have had me. I think me and Oprah would have clicked pretty well. Right? Oprah, Oprah would have been my homegirl. I think she would have uh, gotten down with my style. I might have, you know, cleaned up the jokes a little bit, but... I think you're just a little too colorful for Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> See, Oprah, you know, I might have reminded her of a young Chet Stedman or Ted Danson or something, and I think I could have had a chance mm -hmm. of getting on the show with my sweet author, but Oprah's got bigger things to worry about. Mm -hmm. She's on a diet, she doesn't want my meatballs, so in that case, onion because what did I say about chopped onion? It doesn't go in the meatball. Okay, use the powder. You don't put the garlic cloves in there either. All right, no one wants to bite into that. They want the meat. Some people are meat and potatoes people. Okay, putting onions and garlic cloves in the meatball is the equivalent of putting celery in anything other than soup. Celery is not to be consumed because it is utterly disgusting. Yeah, it is. Pharmaceutical, these meatballs. The only GMOs in here, whatever they put in the meat from the stores. I haven't found an Italian butcher down here yet. In Jersey, I trip over them. In Florida, I gotta go on a witch hunt looking for them. I'll find you. I just haven't looked. I've been busy. I've been busy doing things and trying to make videos for all of you fine folks at home. 
watching me cook, feasting your eyes on my creation. Look at that. Look at that. There's almost no spillage here. Lack of spillage. See? Perfection. Absolute perfection. Just pinched one off because I want to see if I'm going to really catch any exotic diseases from eating that. There's a helper girl. Helper girl, come forward, front and center. I need your assistance. I need you to start the stove so we can get the oil going. Let me clean this pot. Just be clean as we go around here. Sitting there with these quizzical looks on their faces, wondering what's going on. No, we're engaged here. It's educational. I'm not here to scream at you and tell you how much you suck. Okay, unless you screw up what I tell you to do, then we're going to have issues. Bed. And you're not going to be given a tissue. That oil is going to take a few minutes, everyone, so be patient. Grab a snack. Turn on the Amazon Fire Stick and pirate some films. Download songs from YouTube, whatever you have to do. Put the kids to bed. Cut the kids' other eye out and feed the first father. No? Yes. What else is this kid telling me no for, huh? Alright, we're going to feed it to his father. Now his father's holding the camera, so we probably should wait till we're done to cut the kids out of her eye out and feed it to his father. This cameraman needs to finish filming. And this whole operation's going to go to shit. Did you put the kid in bed yet? Yes. Did you feed the cat? No. Did you change his litter? No. Yeah, jeez. Yeah. I just can't do everything here, alright? Next we're going to be making the cat meat bowls. The cat just needs and wants everything. It's, it's worse than dealing with Robin Gibbons as a wife. It's, nothing's good enough. It's very ferocious. Only wants and needs. because I'm just so generous to the red copper frying pans, okay, and the skillets. These things do a real good job of, you know, not sticking, you know, you don't have the meat all stuck on the bottom. It actually does a very good job of not sticking, so for $20 at, you know, whatever store you go to, the Amazon warehouse or 